Welcome to the Totally Honest Cooking Show. I'm Mark. Today we're doing a quick and easy one. Sweet potato fries. So we're going to start with two pounds of sweet potatoes. This recipe comes to us from the Food Network website. And we're going to peel our sweet potatoes. And we're just going to go ahead and peel our sweet potatoes until everybody is clean. These are particularly dirty. Scrubbing them will take a long time. You can scrub them or you can just peel them twice. Once that's done, we're getting out our vegetable chopping knife. Cut them in half. And then we're going to cut them into french fries. Now, if you want thick french fries, as many people do with sweet potato fries, you're going to want to par cook these by boiling them. I'm not going to do that. So just keep that in mind. We're just going to cut them into more traditional french fries. Now, I personally like the Chinese vegetable cleaver for this because it gives you more of a view of what you're doing. Next, we're taking a cup of cornstarch and we're whisking in three-fourths cup of club soda. We're using club soda because basically it will aerate the cornstarch and as the bubbles pop when it fries, it's going to give us a crunchy texture and it'll put a little bit more air in that batter. This is the same premise behind beer battering. And I'm just going to throw all these in here, or as many as will fit in the first round. We'll see whether this works. It's supposed to give it a nice little coating. Doesn't look like it's adhering super well, but you know, for those of you that have been with me for a while now, you know, sometimes they surprise me. In my seasoning jar, I've got eighth a teaspoon of sugar, half a teaspoon garlic powder, Half a teaspoon of Hungarian paprika. If you have smoked, use smoked. And one teaspoon kosher salt. Shake it all about. Okay, that's our seasoning blend. Now we have a little weight because we're bringing our five cups of peanut oil up to 375 degrees. Recipe says six, I only had five. I know I'm a rebel. Once we hit 375 degrees, we're going to go ahead and start dropping our potatoes in. And I'm going to start my count up timer. Recipe says six to eight minutes. So there is a little crust. It's not a huge crust. If I were to do this again, I think I would go more equal amounts on the starch to club soda ratio. Because I feel like I want it thicker than they're giving it to me. And as usual with stuff like this, I use the count up timer to help me time. But I'm really looking to see if it's done. I'm giving it the ocular pat down and I'm checking out, does this look right? We're at about six minutes. They're starting to look kind of dark so I'm going to start pulling them hit them with your spices while they're hot okay once you're back up to temp give this a quick mix again and then we're going to start dropping fries back in situate everybody cook it till it's done and if you're going to do a taste test, taste the fattest ones first because you'll see if you screwed it up. And while it's going, you can get your dipping sauces ready. I'm going with banana ketchup and the classic mayonnaise. So I definitely didn't put enough in in the first batch, which is why they're all sticking together. But that's fine. It'll be okay. You might want to make some more of the seasoning so you can dunk the fries in it. They're pretty good. In fact definitely make more of that seasoning that was very good okay these look nice and vibrant so i'm gonna pull them now hit them with our seasoning put our dipping sauces on our tray and serve to a grateful world
Okay, I'm gonna go consume these. Look at them, they're magnificent. But you can do me a favor and like, subscribe, ding the little bell, maybe even leave a comment down below. I'll see you next Wednesday. Bye.